So apparently we know something about geology. So we're at, we're kind of near Lake Louise and you can't quite see it but there's Mount Fairview just behind us. We're out on a little unnamed peak because we want to get closer to the glacier so we decided to scramble up this. It's pretty cool. You so see the met. trails going up to the tea house and you might go up there for coffee or a hot chocolate after, who knows. Um, it's pretty nice. Anyway, we're kind of, we're, we're both geophysics guys, but we're, we're geologists at heart. And uh, so we came up here and we checking out all the cool uh, sandstone and shale formations. Um, we've been hiking near Canmore, which is a lot of carbonates, but we came here and it's all classics. pretty cool. See all the cross bedding and stuff. Anyway, we got to the top of this little peak and we noticed it, it was made up of this really, uh, this really, really, uh, you know, this uh, red shale. We thought it was shale at first. But um, grab a special piece here. If you actually take a look at it. I'll try to grab an un. This stuff right here is, you know, shaley sand, or whatever the hell you call it. I don't know. It's got, it's got. It's it, like iron rich or something, or. I don't know. It's not pure shale. I mean, it's not mudstone. There's, you can see the grains in it, but it's still much finer grain than the sandstone packed as we passed. Anyway, so then conversation decided. Well, you know, let's see if we can, you know trace this cool red package, and we noticed that we could see it on these mountains here, um, below the glacier, you can see these red packages, and we're like, okay, well this is some sort of shaley package, but then we said, hey, wait a second, we actually lost elevation from Fairview, which was sandstone, and we moved down into some, you know, some more uh, clay, clay rich uh, uh, mudstones or shales, whatever you want to call them, and so we kind of figured, well, um, uh, that's pretty cool. And then we looked out and we saw this black layer uh, right near the top of that peak there. And, you know, we can't tell what it is from here, but we've surmised that it could possibly be a coal layer. So we're like, well, that's pretty cool. Because you're moving up in, in the cycle. So we kind of figured, okay, so we're going from a sort of a, an offshore clay, um, mudstone rich facies, moving up into um, sandier, um, better sorted with, you know, higher energy depositional structures of cross bedding, um, you know, uh, planner moving into um oh, what's the word i can't i'm not a geologist but anyway so moving up into these sort of shallower water faces and then all of a sudden we think we see a coal so we kind of surmise this is a transgressive environment which is pretty cool we have no i don't know how to hold these rocks are but then we looked above it and you can see there's a sort of a gray package i'll it's get a, you pointing at it there's a gray band just above it and you can see what kind of looks like a sausage shape um it gets bigger in the bedding and we kind of figured that those were channel cuts so we've moved from that, that, that terrestrial environment where the coal has been deposited up into um, possibly del maybe a deltaic face using that, that sort of package there. Deltaic because it's got the coal? No, just because it's got the channel cuts. So you've got Great. channel cuts in the, and they're full of, possibly full of mud where you've got the sand in the, in the, other, in the background. Um, but if you look below it, there's another large, and you look and there's several of these, there's a gray bed below the coal as well. It's got that sort of that sausage structure, which is kind of neat. You've got one above it. So it's darker. Over, yeah, it's darker. It's darker, that big sort of, it looks like a big sausage, and that could be a channel cut. We noticed another big one on the mountain behind it, too, sort of in the same interval. You can see the coal, the coal layer there. So all the beds are actually dipping towards us, so it's higher in elevation now. But you can see the coal there, and this channel feature. So, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, most people come up here just to see the glaciers, but there's all kinds of cool geology going on in the Canadian Rockies. And we think we kind of know what's going on. I don't know. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right. Thanks. What else do we see? I don't know if we see anything else. You still filming? I'm still filming actually. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. You're gonna cross the street. Wow. Good deal.